In this video, I'm going to show you how to add fractions together. So looking at our first example, one quarter add one quarter. What we do to work this out is we, first of all, look at the denominator here and we can see the denominators are the same. So that means we have no problem adding these together. And all we do when we add fractions is we look at the numerator, that's the number at the top, and we only add these two together. We keep the denominator the same. So our answer would be 1 plus 1, so 2, and then our denominator stays the same, 2 quarters. So for my second example, we have the same denominator here again, the fifths, and we have a 1 fifth plus 3 fifths. So all we need to do is add these two together, so it's 4 fifths. Okay, so what do we do if our denominators aren't the same? In this case, we have uh, quarters and we have eighths. We have one quarter plus two eighths. But what we need to do is we need to convert these denominators so that they have the same on both sides. And in order to do that, I could multiply this number, both the top and the bottom, by two. So we end up with eighths at the bottom. So if I was to do that, one quarter, both of them multiplied by two equals two eighths. So I'm going to the top and the bottom. Now we know that one quarter equals two eighths and we have another two eighths up here, we can add them together. Two eighths add two eighths equals four eighths. Okay, so what do we do if our denominators aren't the same and it's not immediately obvious what we can do to one to turn it into the other? Well, in this case, we have one quarter add three fifths. Now I know that four and five go into 20. So I could turn these into 20ths. And in order to do that, I'll need to multiply this, both the top and the bottom by five. So one quarter times by five, both the top and the bottom is five twentieths plus. Now we're gonna to need to multiply this one by four to get 20ths at the bottom. So three times four is 12 and the denominator is 20th. Now we can add them together, 5 twentieths add 12 twentieths is 17 twentieths. Likewise with this one, we, it's not immediately obvious what we need to do. So we could try and find something that's in the 6 times table and in the 4 times table. And a cheat way of doing that is just to multiply 6 by 4 and that will give us an answer that we could use and we know that's 24. So we could multiply 5, 6 by 4 to get 24 at the bottom. So if we were to do that, it would be 20 24 plus, now we're going to need to multiply this by 6. So 3 quarters multiplied by 6, both the top and the bottom, is 18 24 Now if we add those together, 38 24 And lastly, number 3, we could do the same trick again. 5 times 4 is 20. So if I was going to multiply this by 4, both the top and bottom, I would have 12 twentieths, and then multiply this by five, it would be 15 twentieths. Now we can add them together. The answer is 27 twentieths.